Put on your sundress or flowered shirt and join us on a trip to the French Polynesian Islands. Rest from your long journey at the Hilton Hotel Tahiti. Dinner here is especially noteworthy at the over the water dining room. The paneled glass doors are typically open and a reef surrounds the pylons. Most tables overlook the water. Colorful fish swim by and waves roll under the elevated restaurant as the staff serve salmon tartare and sashimi alongside fillets, pizzas and pastas. This hotel leaves you wanting more. And it's a quick catamaran ride to Morea. From the large ferry, this island appears lush, green, and welcoming. The Hilton Morea Lagoon Resort and Spa is truly incredible. Rooms are individual huts that spill down the mountain slope to the ocean and continue out over the water. Nearly half of the 100 huts are nestled over the water in a reef-protected lagoon. This is the walkway to Polynesian libations and cuisine. Our first evening here, they have an elaborate seafood bar complete with grilled langoustin lobsters and oysters on the half shell. The meal is complemented with white wine, live music, and Polynesian dancers. A Frenchman named Franck leads our tour around the island. He knows the ins and outs of growing vanilla beans, pineapples, and papayas. He shows us how to make dinner plates out of hibiscus leaves. Dinner is special. It's at the restaurant Te Honi Iti. It's actually featured in the book, 1,000 Places to See Before You Die. From our table over the shallow bay waters, we watch stingrays and small sharks race in to eat the meat scraps the waiter tosses over the railing. Our food is fabulously French. Foie gras, seafood bisque, mahi-mahi mousse in a rich lobster sauce. We finished our Chardonnay and we check restaurant Te Honi Iti off of our list. Another quick flight and a water taxi and we arrive at our next destination, the island of Le Taha A and the Le Taha A Resort and Spa. The rooms here are what honeymoon dreams are made of. They are constructed of bamboo and a thatched roof with tribal carvings etched into the woodwork. The bathtub is shaped like a canoe and has flower petals floating in it when we arrive. Two glass panels let you watch the fish from indoors. One large glass box spans the width of the queen size bed and the other is next to the bathtub. Both open so you can feed the fish. From our balcony, you cannot see another man-made structure. We're at least 100 yards from shore. Our view consists of crystal clear water, some small uninhabited islands called motus, which I will snorkel to, and the big island of Bora Bora in the distance. A phenomenal, phenomenal view. The water taxi takes us to Le Taha proper for an island tour. Pearl farms, vanilla plantations, and rainforests. Our last stop is the Bora Bora Lagoon Resort and Spa. We have another gorgeous room here where we can also feed the fish and we have a breathtaking view of Bora Bora. In the morning, we board a red wooden boat decked out in flowers and piloted by, I swear, an authentic Polynesian warrior. His long bushy hair, tattooed dark body, and tribal dress make him a little intimidating. More more than once he looks at me and says, who's for lunch? Our first stop is a coral garden where we snorkel. Next we visit an area where we feed stingrays and then we head on. We head on 30 feet out past the protective reef and here is where we swim with sharks. A truly once in a lifetime experience. We then had roasted pig and local foods such as breadfish, bananas and poi for lunch. Our trip lasted 10 days. Two of the days were lost to travel. The average cost over the water hut is about $1,000 per night and worth every penny. Garden rooms around $700. The rooms look the same, but they're not over the water. Excursions and food will take another bite out of your pocketbook. As a whole, the region's food did not blow me away. The hotel meals were typical resort cuisine and other options were very limited. The island felt very safe and the people were very nice. There's no overbearing souvenir peddlers or beggars, so you, so you really feel right at home. It's just lots and lots of paradise.